everyone, this is Teacher Morris and today's video we will discuss about solving second quartile or Q sub 2 of group data. What is quartile? Quartiles are values that divide a set of data into four equal groups. There are three quartiles denoted by Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3, which are the first lower, first or lower, second or median, and third or upper quartiles respectively. So first, we have to solve for first quartile of group data. The frequency distribution presented below gives the ages of members of the families in Barangay 143. So here, the ages is 81 to 90, 71 to 80, 61 to 70, 51 to 60, 41 to 50, 31 to 40, 21 to 30, 11 to 20, and 1 to 10, which are the ages or range. So in 81 to 90, age is there are 7. In 71 to 80, there are 4. In 61 to 70, there are 13. 51 to 60, 17. 41 to 50, there are 27. And 31 to 40, there are 16. 21 to 30, there are 43. 11 to 20, there are 35. And 1 to 10, there are 38 people having the age of 1 to 10 and a total of 200 members. Age of members. So, step 1. Find the lower boundaries. Lower boundary is found by subtract, subtracting 0 0.05 units from the lower class limit. So in our ages, so example, we have to 81 to 90. Our lower ages is on the left side. So our lower boundaries is 81 minus 0 0.5 is equals to 80.5, 71 minus 0 0.5 is 70.5, 61 minus 0 0.5 is 60.5, 51 minus 0 0.5 is 50.5, 41 to point minus 0 0.5 is 40.5, 31 minus 0 0.5 is 30.5, 21 minus 0 0.5 is 20.5, 11 minus 0 0.5 is 10.5, 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. So those are for finding lower boundaries. In step 2, find the cumulative frequency. It is obtained by adding successively the frequencies starting from the lowest to the highest class. So these are the cumulative frequency. So we have to add from the lowest to the highest class. So 38 is our lowest frequency. We have to add 38 plus 5. 35 is equals to 73. And 73 plus 43 is equals to 116. And 116 plus 16 is equals to 132. 132 plus 27 is equals to 159. 159 plus 17 is equals to 176. 176 plus 13 is equals to 189. 189 plus 4 is equals to 193. And 193 plus 7 is equals to 200. So our cumulative frequency is by adding successively from lowest to the highest class. 
So the third step is we have to locate the Q sub 2 class. The formula for Q sub 2 class is Kn over 4 is equals to 2 which is the represents the K and times 200 which is the total number of data over 4 is equals to 100 so 2 times 200 is 400 divided 4 is 100 so this means you need to find the class interval where 100 age is contained notice that the 74 to 116 ages belong to the class interval 21 to 30 ages. So the 100 age is also within the class interval. So since our Q sub 2 class is 100 and 100 is in between of 74 to 116, so that is our Q sub 2 class. So we have here step 4, identify the given, what is the lower boundary? So the lower boundary of Q sub 2 class is 20.5, our N or the total number of data is 200, our less than cumulative frequency is 73, our frequency is 43, our interval is 10, and our K is 2. And now, we have to substitute the given to the formula. So, our formula is Q sub K is equals to lower boundary plus K, o K times N over 4 minus CFB times interval. So, we have here the substitution Q sub 2 is equals to 20.5 plus 2 times 200 over 4 minus 73 over 43 times 10. So we have here Q sub 2 is equals to 20.5 plus 100 minus 38 over 43 times 10. So Q sub 2 is equals to 20.5 plus 60 times 62 over 43 times 10. So Q sub 2 is equals to 20.5 plus 14.41. So our the value for Q sub 2 is 34.91. So therefore, 50% of the members of the family have an age less than or equal to 34.91. that's all for today guys this is teacher morris and believes that everything is simple unless you make it complicated thank you everyone see you in my next video